Hey friends, I am Franny from Shine with Franny and I'm so glad to be with you. We've got a little bit of different scenery back here behind me today. I felt like it was too beautiful of a day to waste it and not to share that with you. So we are continuing in our series, learning about email. And in our first email, we talked about the importance of having an email list. It is your asset. You own your email list. Should Facebook shut down or Instagram shut down or your account all of a sudden be deleted, who knows what kind of hacking systems will happen. You will have a way to contact your list. You will have a way to contact your tribe, if you will, your community and stay engaged with them. So today we're gonna to talk about the most important part of an email. And anytime you're going to engage with your audience through email, it has to be something that is gonna be worthy of them opening. So I really want you to think actually backwards. So I want you to, for a second, think with me if you've ever ran a marathon or a race or perhaps a 5K even, or if you've ever planned a wedding, right? Even if you've ever had a baby, you start with that end, right? The doctor tells you, oh, you're 37 weeks and your due date is, if you're getting married, you know, you go and you get the church and you get the reception hall and then you work backwards and you get the flower and the caterer and all those other details are lined up with that end in mind. The same thing happens if you're running a race. You know what date the race is, and so then you back it up. What are my rest days? What are my training, you know, what are my training schedules? What does that look like? So it's the same thing when you're writing an email. What is the end? Starting with the end in mind and then work it backwards from there. So anytime you're gonna write an email, it does not have to be an offer. It could be something really simple like, hey, check out this on my website to download, or read this blog, watch this video. It doesn't always have to be an offer. It could be something that is simple like, hey, did you know I have a YouTube channel? Here's where you can find that. And letting them know, bringing them to awareness. Now, I will tell you that sometimes it is okay to direct them to watch something or listen to something, you know, to position yourself as a leading expert. So for example, I might direct someone over to listen to Amy Porterfield um, and I'm, or Gary Vaynerchuk and say, hey, there was a really great video that I really want you to see. Now you don't want people to often go off of your website. You wanna keep them on your website as often as possible, but it does allow you to position yourself as that industry leader and that expert. So it is okay to do that every now and again. So this is the, the most simple thing here is that PS, that is gonna be where the people are actually, they're gonna skim the email, they're gonna read bullets, they're gonna see the picture, they're gonna laugh at your gift, whatever it is that you've you know, embedded into your email. And then they're gonna to scan to the bottom and the PS is actually, you may have had actually your call to action somewhere else in the email, but then also at the very bottom in your PS, you're gonna say, oh, and don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Or you might say something like, oh, and don't forget, here's where you can listen to that podcast. Or might be saying something like, don't forget to click the button below to sign up for this program. All right, I have none of those offers for you today. Simply I'm wanting to share this information with you because I think it's really important as we go about writing our emails and we're gonna dive into the last two pieces of your email, the subject line and the actual copy. But I want you to start thinking about what is it that I'm gonna to offer to them and then we're gonna work backwards from there. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Um, hopefully you're reading, watching this from, and maybe perhaps reading this, from a YouTube channel or from my website by chance. Hop on over to Shine with Brandy and subscribe because I've got lots of other tips and tricks that I share with you there. As well, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. I'm on all of it, except for Pinterest. Mm, maybe we'll see what comes over the summer with that. Thanks guys so much for listening and let me know how I can serve you best. Have a great day.